All right, budget magic time. Playing some Sun Mare White in standard. And we'll keep this. Opponent mulliganing into oblivion. Well, it should make things a bit easier. Although this hand's pretty good anyway. Opponent leads on irrigated farmland. I'll play a planes, play Thraben Inspector, pass the turn. Opponent plays a planes and passes. Well, let's get in with Thraben Inspector. Play a planes, pass the turn. Opponent cycles the farmland. Westville Abbey, so our opponent's playing the blue-white monument deck. Opponent plays a Thalia, Heretic Cathar. Well, crack our clue, more aerial responders. Play the planes, play a aerial responder. And pass the turn. Gyre Reach Sanitarium for our opponent. Gets in, 4-3, we'll take it. And... Gisela. Well, let's just stasis near the Gisela. Get in with our dorks. Play the desert. Pass the turn. So next turn we can Harvester Lone Rider if we want to. Opponent has Fairgrounds Warden. Down to two cards in hand. Takes our Aerial Responder. And gets in with the Thalia. Let's see what we draw. Aerial Responder. Well, let's just Ether Sphere Harvester. Play a Lone Rider. And pass the turn. Could use a Sun Mare. Sun Mare would be pretty sweet here. Opponent goes attacking. Well, I mean, we're going to crew and block. If our opponent has a cast out or something, then eh, okay. Yep, there's a cast out. That's fine. Opponent hits us for a bit. Down to 13. And passes. Well, let's just play Gisela. Get in with Lone Rider, Thraben Inspector. I think our biggest advantage in this matchup is we got a lot more flying than our opponent does. And our opponent has very limited removal, so it's pretty unlikely that they can deal with our Gisela. Thalia's Lancers. So I guess our opponent can tutor up their own Gisela. Tutors up a Sky Sovereign. That is annoying. Opponent gets in. I guess that's a good tutor target. Down to 10. Uh, we draw a cast out, which is good. Well, get in with Gisela, gain a bunch of life, play Aerial Responder. We flip our Lone Rider, so our opponent can Sky Sovereign kill our Gisela, but then we can always cast out the Sky Sovereign. And we still have Aerial Responder to beat down with. Yep, kills our Gisela. Opponent can't really attack. Opponent passes. <laughs> oh boy well we can't do it yet because of sky sovereign so let's go to combat attack attack opponent blocks we kill lancers gain a bunch of life hit our opponent to eight so what happens if we just sun mare we get two five fives our opponent can kill our aerials they probably can't even activate you know what i think we just do it play sun mare Make some horses. And what do you got, opponent? Oketra's Monument. Oh, and a creature? Well, that's a good thing to have. Oh, opponent. Really? Oh, my lord. Opponent gets in for three. Down to 16. We get a desert. Well, let's do some attacking. See what our opponent does. Cruise up, Sky Sovereign. All right. Well, that makes our decision. Hmm. Actually, I think we got to let this go. We kill Sky Sovereign. One, two. I guess our opponent needs to untap land to flip. All right. So I guess we do do it. Cast, cast out. Get rid of Sky Sovereign. Hit our opponent for a bunch. Opponent might have to go on chump block duty. Blocks. Blocks. Yep, down to six. We play the desert, pass the turn. We get another horse. <laughs> Crested Sun Mare. Come on, no creature. Is it desperation loot time? Sack a clue. Plays a planes. Loots. Yeah, this feels like desperation. Crested Sun Mare taking over this game. And our opponent scoops it up. Crested Sun Mare taking down Blue White Flash, or Blue White Monument. So against this deck, I wish we had more Hour of Revelations, but we'll bring in Hour of Revelation. We'll bring in Cast Out, 
And I don't know about anything else. We could bring in a Fumigate. I don't know if it's really worth bringing in a Fumigate. What are we going down? I mean, our best way to win is probably just curving out with Flyers and then going crazy with Sunmare. Maybe we go down a Stasis. Let's go down the Stasis Snares. Well, and maybe we go Fumigate over Cast Out. Let's try it like that. Ah, uh, all right. This end's fine. We'll keep it. Opponent has planes and Thraben Inspector. We have a planes past the turn. Question is, do we just run stuff out? I mean, I think we have to. Opponent plays a planes, gets in with Thraben Inspector, down to 19, and passes. I'll play a planes, Glory Bound Initiate, and pass the turn. Lone Rider is actually an interesting draw because we can potentially just flip it next turn with Glory Bound Initiate. Opponent sacks the clue. There's a planes. I guess there's a question as to whether it's better to just Ether Sphere Harvester. Opponent has their monument. That is definitely one of their key cards. And passes. We draw Aerial Responder. Well, play a planes. Get in with Glory Bound Initiate. And exert. Hit our opponent for four. Play Harvester. And pass the turn. What's our opponent got? Tapland. And Gisela. Well, that's a good one for our opponent. Gets in with Raven Inspector. Desert of the True. Well, let's take the middle ground. Let's play Desert. Play Lone Rider. Crew up our Harvester. Get in with Harvester. Gain some life. Flip our Lone Rider. So we do have the option of fumigating if we have to. Opponent has Thalia, Heretic Cathar. And gets in with Gisela. Down to 21. Another Glory Bound Initiate. Well, play the planes. Get in with If That Rides is 1. Opponent takes it. And... Uh, do we keep playing stuff is the big question. The problem is it can't really attack through this Gisela. I think we just pass. Opponent has Stasis Snare for our Glory Bound Initiate. All right, so let's let our opponent go on a big attack. Plays a land. Gets in. Gets in. Gets in, gets in, gets in. Yep, we take it. Can't crew at the moment. Down to 15. We draw a cast out. That's actually not a bad draw. Well, let's get in with If That Rides is 1. Actually, our stuff's going to enter tapped. So let's not. Let's just pass, leave up our cast out, and figure out what we're going to do from there. We're still kind of playing towards this Fumigate. I think maybe we cast out Oketra's Monument. There's a Sun Mare. Well, let's get in with It That Rides is 1. See what our opponent does. Uh, that's not ideal. Avacyn. Opponent blocks. We go up to 19. Well, let's play Sunmare. We get a horse. The horse actually survives our wrath. Plays a land. Opponent goes on the huge attack. Down to five. I'll play the planes. Fumigate. Sweep the board. Horse left over. Up to 12. Get in with the horse. Put our opponent back down to 19. Pass the turn. Dust to Dawn is a concern if our opponent has it. Yes, Avacyn triggers, whatever. That was a big swing in our favor, though. And we have good things to follow up with. Opponent, Glory Bound Initiate. Yup. We draw a Desert of the True. Well, Aerial Responder. Glory Bound Initiate. Crew up our Aether Sphere Harvester. Do some attacking. Not going to bother to lifelink here. Hit our opponent. Down to 11. Not going to play the land. Want to save it for cycling. Thraben Inspector. Gives our opponent a redraw. And a chump blocker. Cracks the clue. Plays a planes. Last card, Thraben Inspector. Another clue for the redraw. We're pretty close to closing this one out. Through the Avacyn. Sacks it. Plays 
uh, does not play a land. Opponent gets in, exerts, just to gain a tiny bit of life. Yup. Cast out is pretty solid. So let's glory bound initiate. Crew up our harvester. With the summoning sick glory bound initiate. Go to combat. Exert, attack with everything. Opponent's blocking the horse token. It feels like Crested Sunmare is winning us this match. Pass the turn. Westvale Abbey. And a Glory Bound Initiate. Does our opponent even live? I guess they just live. Let's cycle this desert. Thraben Inspector is fine. Ooh, Hour of Revelation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we can cast it for 3 mana, but... I don't think we want to do that. Instead, let's Thraben Inspector. Get a clue. Crew up our Harvester. Attack with everything. Exert our Glory Bound Initiate. Opponent blocks and blocks. Drops to one. Uh, maybe we should have cast out. Use cast out. Whatever. Pass the turn. I don't think it's going to matter. Hard to imagine our opponent getting out of this. All because of Crested Sun Mare. Card is absurd. And we got the GG's. Woo! Sun Mare White taking down the best white deck in the format. Well, <laughs> the best white deck until Sun Mare White came along. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already, take a minute and click that subscribe button. It's a great way to support the channel for free. And you'll find the next video in the playlist right here.